Hello everyone, you're welcome to the third session of our introductory course. Today we'll be discussing about dynamic programming and heuristic alignment method. So what do we understand by dynamic programming? The local or the global alignments, the multiple sequence alignments, blast and faster. Those are some of the things we'll be discussing today. So what is dynamic programming? Dynamic programming is a mathematical optimization method as well as it is a computer programming method. Its application in bioinformatics, which is a major concern, is its use for sequence alignment, protein folding, RNA structure prediction, and protein DNA binding. So it was developed in 1970 by scientists uh, from USA and uh, Russia so this uh, algorithm it's because we know it's a mathematical and computer programming method is uh, has become very popular in bioinformatics because of its studies in nucleosome positioning and transcription factor binding not that we want to go deep into what oh we want to start dynamic programming but we want to have an idea of the basic foundation behind sequence alignment for our level sequence alignment is very very important if you do not align your sequence appropriately you would have problem when you are doing your analysis as a genomics uh, scientist now a sequence alignment is a way of arranging the nucleotide sequences of dna rna or protein to identify regions of similarity that may be a consequence of functional structural or evolutionary relationship between the sequences now when you align a sequence it is either you are looking for the function or the structure or the evolutionary relationship between the sequences in the figure that is shown here, we can see when you want to compare the protein sequences of a stone between human, chimps, mouse, rats, and cow, you can see the evolutionary relationship between these different stone sequences from these different individuals, uh, these different organisms, the human. So, and you can see the region that are conserved the region that are non-conserved, the region that are semi-conservative in this particular region. So it is very, very important for us to know how to align. And the algorithm behind these alignment tools, this alignment technology, is the, um, it's the uh, dynamic programming. So aligned sequence of nucleotide amino acids are typically represented in the row within the matrix gaps are incited, inserted between the residues so that the identical or similar characters are aligned in successive columns now for you to know more about uh, this alignment or global um, global technology global dynamic programming you have to you can go to the website provided now uh, we use this as an example who will be showing us uh, in the hands-on sessions then for more resources on theoretical explanation you can visit this website and then uh, global and local alignment concerns of alignment sequences there are two different types of alignment you have the global and we have the local alignments each has its own importance each has its own uses but basically the most popular used popularly used one is the local alignment that is why we have blast Bla uh, uh, basic local alignment uh, sequence technology or oh, i've forgotten the full meaning so but we have blast blast is a local alignment tech uh, sequence um, <laughs> i've forgotten what the t is so we have the blast which is the local but global alignment compares one whole sequence with other entire sequence it is computationally expensive why local alignment is <laughs> less expensive as you will see when we are going on in our presentation yeah basic local alignment search tool that's the full meaning of blast 
basic local alignment search tool and it is used in identifying species locating domains establishing phylogeny map dna and to compare uh, between sequences it is a very useful tool whenever as a genomic scientist we also have a psi blast there are different types of blast sequences now one of one f important uh, f uh, file formats that you have to take note of as a researcher there are different types of file formats we have faster we have fast q sam bam vcf and the likes so but at this level of uh, of our beginning uh, beginner level we have to focus on faster faster format is a text-based format for representing ideal nucleotide sequence of amino acid or amino acid in which nucleotides or amino acid are represented using single letter codes now we might not fully grasp of what it really means here but when we are doing our analysis you would understand better so the usefulness of faster whenever you see a file how does faster files look how does faster file looks like uh what's the difference with fast q as you can see in the figure provided we've given a short explanation of what faster fast q sam bam and vcf files are all about thank you